what you should really rely on for SEO um, is that you should write really good content and use really relevant words in your content, and that's what Google's going to find and it's going to help you the most. You should also make your um, titles um, relevant. The article title sh should mean something. Um, the page title, like this, this title properties, like you might want to add Greenfield to that. Stuff that makes it relevant for the search engines. That's what you want, is like good page titles and good content, and that's what's really important. And there's plenty of people who will debate this with you, um, but this is kind of my position. A lot of people have the same position, and that's where we, we focus. I know some tags that will actually hide your website from the search engines. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to do that? Um, I can check later. There's a way to like, turn off, like, search for ro like, robots, stuff yeah, like that. Right. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but, but we can look into that if you remind me later. If you're not ready to have it out there, or if it's a... You can also just unpublish the whole site. But then nobody can see it. Nobody can see it. If you want to have it sort of privately available. Yeah, I, I think there's ways to do that. We have to look into that, though. Okay. Um, so what are, some, what are some of the rules when you're editing content? In terms of your site? Yeah, well, what, what are some, what's some good advice? Okay. Short. Okay. And do you have any, what, what are some things that you should not do? Not do? Yeah, what should you not do? Use from word, use back button. Yes, very good. <laughs> yeah, flashing bad. Things, general things that flash on a website. Also things that play music, when somebody does not want them to play music, bad, especially on a company or corporate website. You go to a website, you're in an office, and all of a sudden it's like playing, you know, Farrah Jaka. That's not professional. <laughs> And I just saw one yesterday like that. I was like, no, that's not cool. OK. Um, if you wanted to edit an image after you've already inserted it, what would you do? Sarah? Edit an image. After you've already inserted it, what would you do to get back into that thing? <laughs> There's a button up there somewhere. Well, hold on. First, you have to. Or, uh, you want to edit an image that you've already inserted. Anybody? Yeah. Right mouse, click the image. OK. And when you click the image, the, with the, with the, when you do the right button, what do you see? Edit. Insert edit image. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Let's, let's go over that again here. So we're going to click on this image. We're going to right click on it. Insert edit image. So you have to format it first. Well, this is after right. you've already uploaded the image uh, and you've inserted it into the article, but you want to do something different with it. You want it on the right instead of the left, for example. Uh, okay. So we click on it. And then remember, at the bottom, you scroll down to update. So I'm going to change this from left to right. And I'm going to update. OK. What do you want to click on a lot when you're working so you don't lose all your stuff? Anybody? Save or apply. Save brings you back to the previous page. OK, so if I click apply right now, my changes are saved, but I can continue working on this page. If I click on save right now, my changes are saved, and I'm back to the article list. So if you want to continue working on this article, usually you want to click on apply. If you're done, you click on save. If, for example, instead you make changes, and then you click on close, you will lose your changes. So do not click on close unless you want to lose your changes. Okay. There's also a preview button here, which I personally never use. I don't think it previews very well. You can try it out if you like. That's really not very helpful, to be honest. It doesn't really tell you what it's going to look like on the website. Okay. Does anyone have any questions about any of the buttons up here? Um, most of them you just kind of explore in your own ordered list. You're familiar with unordered list, but basically bullets. Um, we talked about Word and text. Most of the stuff is pretty obvious. Any have any questions at this point about that? Is yep. there any kind of a sort function? Do they sort? No. No, if you want to sort like by author or something like that, you need to do that like in Excel or something and then put it in here. Um, you had a question at the end? Yeah, I have. We were supposed to add another menu item, mm -hmm. menu item in the report, and I have that, but when I click it, I get an error. Really? Yeah. Um, the reason is to contact us. Okay, you contact us. Uh, it saved the airways. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like I said, there are some parameters here that are global for the whole website. So I'm going to close this article and I'm going to show you what those are. If you click on parameters up here, we're in the article manager. We're going to click parameters. And this is the global parameters that we saw before, like whether the author name and by default, on a new Joomla install, the author name does show. Whenever I create a website, I turn that off. But you could have it show if you wanted to. Same thing, create a date and time, all that other stuff. OK. Don't worry about the filtering options. And this stuff applies to the whole website, except, I know this is going to be fun, except for everything on the front page, which has its own rules. 
Okay. So how did we get here? We went to Article Manager. We clicked on Parameters. And we changed something here. And that applies to everything using the global parameters. If I go back here. And that's separate from the style sheet. The yes. CSS. Mm -hmm. Except that this does not apply to the home page. But it does apply to our article. So now it says written by TNR Global because we turned on the article, the, the author name. Okay, for the whole website. Now, the home page has a life of its own. We're going to look at the home page for a few minutes. Does anyone have any questions at this point? No? Everyone feels good? Confident. Leap tall buildings in a single bound. Excellent. Okay, so let's go back to the back end and go back to content. Okay, there's something on the bottom called a front page manager, which we have not looked at. Okay, so click on that. And this lets you control what's on the front page. Things that are already published on the front page are going to appear here as a list. New article and East Anglia. If we go back here to the home page, we have new article and East Anglia. It's the same order. Say we want to change that order. Okay? So there's two options. One, you can use these. You can change this to two, and you can change this to one. And you can click on this, this button for save. It's kind of hidden save order. It looks like a little disk. So if you want to change the order of the articles on your front page. OK, well then, don't change it. <laughs> so we went into Content. We went into Front Page Manager. It shows us a list of all the articles that are on our front page. Most of you have two articles on your front page. Are you getting to where I am, Rod? I've, I've got the two, one, two changed to two, one. But now okay. I'm wondering what oh, so you doing. click on this, this little icon here, which says Save. Might be kind of oh, small. Yeah, it's oh, kind of oh, hidden. Okay, I get it. Yeah. And now, if you refresh, now East Anglia is on top and New Article is on the bottom. The other way you can change the order, which is not very useful when you have like 20 articles, but it's okay for here, is you can use these buttons, these arrows. Move down. So I'm going to move it down. And then I'm going to go back to the front end and I'm going to refresh. And there's no apply here. You just move it and it moves. Okay? So now New Article is on top. That's one of the things about managing the front page. Okay? The other thing about managing the front page is that, again, if you go, go to Menus, go to Main Menu, and click on Home. There's a bunch of parameters hidden, basically, right here in Menus, Main Menu, Home, wherever your home page is. Mark, can you go back to the front page side? Sure. So let me just close this for a second. We went to Content. We went to Front Page Manager and we saw which articles are published on our front page. And we decided to change the order by changing these numbers. And sometimes the numbers don't actually make sense, but it's OK, just change them anyway. Like, you could have one that says 1739. Just change them so that it makes sense to you. So that's two and one, and we're going to click on that. This little Save button up here, the icon, Save Order. Now East Anglia is on top, and new articles on the bottom. And you can che check that by going over here and refreshing the home page. Is that clear how to change the order of articles on the front page? On, on your particular website right now, they're just going down a vertical line. Mm -hmm. um, if they were with a different template with boxes and things like that. Um, well, let's, let's take a look. Not, not even on a template. In, in, this, in the same site, the same template, we can do some stuff here. Okay. So let's go back into, we're going to Menus, Main Menu, and Home. And once again, this is kind of a stupid place to put it, but this is where they put it. This is where you control how a lot of things look on the home page actually in your main menu item for home. Okay. If you look on the right here, there are some I'm sorry. The order when I keep changing it, mm -hmm. it defaults back. So I save it. Mm -hmm. And it defaults back to one and two. And you wanted okay. Oh, just, okay. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to hover. Hovering is the key. Hover over leading. It's going to make some sense. It's not beautiful, but it's makes some sense. The number of articles to display is a leading full width. This means that right now, one article is going to appear all the way across the page. Okay? And right now, if you go to the front end, you'll see that. This one appears all the way across the page. Okay? 